Looks like the March winds are brewing up storm. They are indeed. It is a big storm out to the west that's actually pulling up all this wind right now. Sign of uh, things to come for us. Once that storm gets here, uh, we're going to see some rain out of it. Not yet. Just a lot of wind so far. Wind advisory I mentioned earlier does remain in effect until 6 o'clock tonight for almost all of our viewing area as winds are continuing to gust occasionally up to 30 miles per hour. Live view of the weather over San Marcos and the sky looks pretty much the same across all of our area right now. Overcast. This is our uh, Chuck Nash Chevy Buick GMC camera. Which which is located right there uh, at the dealership, right on I-35. You can always access this camera, by the way, you folks down in San Marcos, and the weather station that's attached to it, too, on our website, kxan.com. Under the weather menu, look for local webcam. Well, these are the uh, current temperatures, 71 degrees in the city right now. Then our planning temperatures for 8 p.m., 69. At 10 p.m., 66 degrees. So it stays very mild all night long and skies remain cloudy. 71 out in Lano right now. It is 70 degrees from Blanco all the way up to Land passes there. In the metro area, temperatures ranging from 70 to 72. It's 71 in Round Rock and Pflugerville and out in Leander and Cedar Park right now. Off to the east, 71's there in Bastrop and uh, Lexington, too. Austin is officially 71 at both Camp Mabry and ABIA. Our skies are overcast. The humidity is increasing because the winds are blowing directly off the Gulf of Mexico. They're averaging right now 15 to 22 miles per hour, again, gusting up near 30. Sunset tonight is 634. PM. One week from now, it'll be 7:34 PM. Are you ready for this daylight in the evening? It's going to happen this weekend. Mold count 611. Medium oak. High today at 376. Now the number is lower, obviously, than the mold count. But remember, mold and tree pollens are measured separately, so 611 is considered medium mold. But that's a high number on oak. Elm 11 and assorted other trees 21 and low today. Everybody in the 70s around Texas, except for uh, Laredo at 82, El Paso at 80, and Abilene at 69. Temperatures around Texas uh, being uh, warm today with the southerly flow that is increasing not only off the Gulf but from the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this is the mid and high level cloudiness that is uh, covering the sky right now. And it's the storm system out here that's diving southward over Nevada right now that is pulling up this moisture and that will be coming our way. It'll be situated down here southeast of Las Vegas tomorrow. It'll be situated here over New Mexico uh, by Thursday. And that's where things get tricky. Uh, we're saying that model uncertainty is clouding our forecast. Our models are all over the place. We've got uh, models that break this low into two. And then leave it part of it hanging out here all weekend. We got a model that takes it directly on off across Oklahoma by Saturday morning and ends the rain on Friday. Two other models keep it uh, meandering about back out here to the west. And so the things that we tell you that may happen now as we head toward the end of the week uh, could change in the days to come depending on how this storm system eventually evolves. We're just not sure yet. What we are pretty sure of, though, is that we will begin to see fairly widespread rain and some thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. The uncertainty really comes in over the weekend. Will it continue to rain on Saturday and Sunday? It is a possibility if this energy remains out out here to the west. Rainfall wise between now and then, patchy, scattered, showery type weather tomorrow. Then we get into Wednesday and we begin to see a little more widespread, or Thursday rather, we begin to see a little more widespread rain and maybe some thunderstorms too. And get this, this is actually increased from yesterday. Now the National Weather Service and models indicate if the scenario comes together just right, two to three inches of rain in a big chunk of our area, including most of Austin, just north of Austin three to four inches of rain. Just north of there in Milan County, four to five inches of rain, maybe five to six inches of rain up toward College Station. Now, we again may be moving those numbers up or down depending on how the system evolves, so stay tuned. No guarantees there yet. Tonight, now there you saw the lows and the highs of more in the 70s. 63 in Austin tonight. Let's go tomorrow morning, mainly some passing showers, and then just maybe cloudy and windy tomorrow and a high of 75. And then Thursday, Friday, we'll go with those big, bigger rain chances. And until we get a handle on this system, we'll taper the rain chances down this weekend. It will be a little cooler, though, especially Friday and Saturday. Jim, thank